Welcome to Control Pad for X-Plane, brought to you by Laminar Research, creators of the family of X-Plane simulators. So what exactly is Control Pad and how does it work? Simply put, Control Pad is an iPad application that lets you control the X-Plane menu items from your iPad, all without pausing X-Plane. You can, for example, pick aircraft, locations, you can change various weather factors, and most importantly, you can set failures as you fly or if you're an instructor as your student flies. So let's download Control Pad and take a look at its various features. After downloading Control Pad, just tap on the Control Pad icon on your iPad. It will automatically detect the IP address. Then just tap on Connect. Just make sure Xplain is running before starting Control Pad. For the purpose of this tutorial, our screen capture software will show a depiction of the control pad running on the right side of the monitor and the simulator running on the left side. In actual use, of course, the control pad would be running on your iPad and you would only see the simulator running on the monitor. The first item in our menu selection bar is labeled Craft. This allows us to select any X-Plane aircraft in the X-Plane aircraft library. In this case, we're switching from the Baron to the Cessna 172. Next, let's look at the Start menu. Here we can select any airport, in this case San Diego. We can position ourselves on any runway or even on a 3-mile or a 10-mile final. We also have the option in this section of selecting a special situation. For example, if we want to land on an oil platform or do a carrier landing or take off from a waterway. And in the weight section, we can change our fuel loading, our payload, and also our center of gravity settings. Next, let's explore the weather tab. Under the weather tab are four sub-tabs, the first being time. Here, we can simply drag the time from 0 hours all the way up to 24 hours dynamically while we're flying. We also can change the date from January 1st to December 31st or any date in between. Our cloud menu gives us the option of setting and changing both the tops and the bases of three separate cloud layers. We can change from clear to broken to stratus giving us the same control over clouds that we have in the main desktop explain menu bar. The difference, of course, being is that we can change these options as we're flying without pausing the simulator. Numerous options are available under the Atmosphere tab. We can, for example, totally control the visibility level and even the runway visual range. We can set the runway conditions from dry to wet. We can control the temperature and barometer and we can even set rain and storm intensity levels. Next, let's taxi off the runway and take a look at the Cool Wind Feature tab in Control Pad. Here we can set wind velocity, we can set wind gust, we can set wind direction, and we can do this at three different levels. Just think of the fun you can have with your friends or if you're an instructor with your student as they make that approach on final and find that the wind has shifted 90 degrees and is gusting at 30 knots. One of the most compelling features of Control Pad has to be the Fail tab. Here we can fail various factors involved in the aircraft environment. For example, if we want a flock of birds to fly into the aircraft windshield, we can then select Smoke and Cockpit and the cockpit begins to fill with smoke. What could be a better way if you're an instructor on training students how to handle emergencies? We can now go to the Engine Fail tab and we can fail the engine. As the engine fails, we can go back and clear the smoke from the cockpit and now the student has to make an emergency landing with no engine. A myriad of different engine instruments, navigation instruments, and sensors can be failed. Here, for example, as we go into a turn, we'll fail the pilot's artificial horizon. Selecting the Map tab 
brings up a flight display. This can also be changed to a map display showing airports and nav aids. And using the glide slope feature can even show your plane on the approach to the airport. In the situation tab, we can select airport weight and balance challenges, aircraft failure rates, weather challenges, and AI unpredictability. And in the last tab, the setting tab, we can control brightness, volume, control another X-plane that's connected to the network, and when we're done flying, we can even shut down X-plane. Thank you for watching. Get your copy of Control Pad for X-plane today. It's available free on the Apple App Store. Works with X-plane 10.40 and higher. And remember, X-plane, it's what real pilots fly.